ABCD is a quadrilateral, and here we have the diagram. It says AB equals CD, AB equals CD, and angle ABC equals angle BCD. This angle equals this angle, and that's all marked in on the diagram. The question is, prove that AC equals BD. So here we have AC, and then BD is across this way. If you want to pause the video now and have a go, that's up to you. Uh, I'll give you one hint. You only need to know one simple fact in order to solve this problem. And really, you only need to state that fact, um, and, and you're done. So let's go ahead and solve this problem. The first thing I'm going to do is draw in the line AC. And what we've done by drawing that line is created the triangle ABC. And I'm going to draw that over here. Here we've got the triangle ABC. And we have that side marked in the angle. And then I'll go ahead and rub that out and draw the line BD. And draw that triangle over here. And what we want to do is to relate these two triangles in some way. So what we want to do is to show these two triangles are congruent. And if we can show that these two triangles are congruent, then we can simply say that AC equals BD. Because as you know, congruent triangles have all angles and sides the same. So... What I said before about that one fact you need to know in order to solve this problem is involves congruent triangles. So if you know the facts about congruent triangles or how to prove congruence, then you are able to solve this question. So let's have a look at these two triangles. We know that AB is equal to CD. We know that angle ABC is equal to BCD. And we also know that this side up here is equal. They both shared that side BC, so that must be the same. And there's a rule of congruence that says if we have a side, an angle, and then a side, the same. In other words, if you flip this triangle over, it will look exactly the same as ABC because we have that side equal, the angle in between, and the other side equal. And this is, and we call that rule side angle side. So we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle BCD due to side angle side rule. Put that in brackets to show how you came up with that. And then we can say, therefore, side AC equals BD. And that's all you need to write for the solution to that problem. Let me know what you think about that. Do you think it was worth four marks? Also, considering the next question after this, question 22, if you um, did sit this paper, you would know how difficult question 22 was. And that was only worth five marks. So how do you think those two questions compare? Um, do you think this maybe could have been put earlier in the paper? Or do you think this is a fair, fair number of marks for this type of question? Uh, I hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you next time. Bye.